So the next procedure I'm going to go over with you is inspecting skin. Now this procedure, guys, you just got to have it down and memorize. There's nothing really to perform. This one you just kind of talk through. So make sure you know the difference between your bony areas, where bones are close to the skin and can rub and cause breakdowns, and your friction areas, where your skin rubs against skin and, and can cause skin breakdowns. So you start by getting a report at the beginning of your shift. Ask the nurse about your resident's needs, abilities, and limitations. My nurse has asked me to check Annie's skin. I knocked on the door, got permission before I entered. I called the resident by the name they prefer, identify myself by name and title, and explain to her what I'm going to do. Finally, gather your supplies, close your curtains, drape the doors, wash your hands, wear gloves as needed, and use good body mechanics. So there's eight bony areas and there's eight friction areas that we need to check when we're doing inspecting skin. And you can do this while the resident's bathing, while you're getting them dressed, doing your ADL. When we're inspecting skin, bony areas first. We're checking the ears, the shoulder blades, the elbows, the coccyx, that's the tailbone, the hips, knees, ankles, and heels. We're checking bony areas for redness and warmth, because a red warm area could potentially be a stage one bed sore. Friction areas, there's eight of those. So we're checking under the breasts, under the arms, any skin folds, the thighs, the groin, the buttocks, tubing, catheter tubing, G tubing, oxygen tubing. I see bed sores from tubing a lot. And the last spot are contracted areas. So normally the arm would not be a friction area, but if the joint is tightened, now this is skin on skin and that can cause skin breakdown. So that's why we have to check contracted areas. The four things you're checking when you're checking a friction area, think about the word REMO, R-I-M-O, because you have to ream out those friction areas. R for redness, I for irritation, M for moisture, and O for odor. If you find anything unusual, make sure you report it to your nurse immediately. And then do your final step. Check for their alignment, make sure they're comfortable, make sure the bed's down to the lowest position, side rails as appropriate. Make sure their call light and water is within their reach. Ask them if there's anything else they need and thank the resident. Find and gather your supplies, clean them through company or facility policies. Open up the curtain drapes and doors according to the resident's wishes and then wash your hands do a visual safety check of the resident and environment, report unexpected findings to the nurse, and document. Thanks for watching.